fourscore and seven years ago our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal i leave you hoping that the lamp of liberty will burn in your bosoms until there shall no longer be a doubt that all men are created free and equal why should there not be a patient confidence in the ultimate justice of the people is there any better or equal hope in the world we are not enemies but friends we must not be enemies Though passion may have strained, it must not break our bonds of affection. In giving freedom to the slave, we assure freedom to the free, honorable alike in what we give and what we preserve. I am a patient man, always willing to forgive on the Christian terms of repentance, and also to give ample time for repentance. Our defense is in the preservation of the spirit, which prizes liberty as the heritage of all men, in all lands, everywhere. I take the official oath today, sick, with no mental reservations, and with no purpose to construe the Constitution or laws by any hypercritical rules. You have no oath registered in heaven to destroy the government, while I shall have the most solemn one to preserve, protect, and defend it. I shall take care, as the Constitution itself expressly enjoins upon me, that the laws of the Union be faithfully executed in all the states. Neither let us be slandered from our duty by false accusations against us, nor frightened from it by menaces of destruction to the government nor of dungeons to ourselves. Perhaps a man's character is like a tree and his reputation like its shadow. The shadow is what we think of it. The tree is the real thing. I can say for one that I have no other so great as that of being truly esteemed of my fellow men by rendering myself worthy of their esteem. I am rather inclined to silence, and whether that be wise or not, it is at least more unusual nowadays, sick, to find a man who can hold his tongue than to find one who cannot. I believe it is an established maxim in morals that he who makes an assertion without knowing whether it is true or false is guilty of falsehood. Our government rests in public opinion. Whoever can change public opinion can change the government practically just so much. I am exceedingly anxious that this union, the Constitution, and the liberties of the people shall be perpetuated in accordance with the original idea for which that struggle was made.